Now on the APEC VIP hotline, cutting edge training for the serious athlete, APECGO.com. Joining us now, the head football coach at Carthage, Scott Surratt. How you doing, coach? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Brian? Doing well, thank you, sir. Tell me what your morning's been like. Well, it's been crazy. It's been fast and furious trying to get fields set up, you know, if we win this week for next week. And, uh... <laughs> And my computer went down. It's been crazy. <laughs> this goes against everything a coach believes in. When you have to start making plans for a game, you're not sure you're going to play. You know, I'm, this got to drive coaches nuts. It, it does, but you, you do have to prepare for sure, or you'll be you'll be without a very good uh, field. Uh, so it's just part of it. Well, I mean, at this point, though, I mean, you're starting to whittle it down to enough number of teams now. There ought to be a good field out there somewhere, huh? It, it is, you know, but you you got to have, have the reservations and have everything everything ready to go and you know dot your i's cross your t's oh i understand well tell me a little bit about the 56 to 21 blowout of taylor uh you know i thought we played very well we, we came out strong and um you know we were i believe we were up 14 nothing and then uh 21 nothing and they scored off a turnover i think they had a short field probably 12 14 yards and uh we fumbled and uh, they made it 21 7 and then then we finished out the half. I believe it was thirty-five seven, wow. uh, something like forty-two seven. I'm not sure. No, it was yes, it was thirty-five seven. And uh, our plan was to have our ones play very well the, the second half and get it to forty-nine to seven and play pull everything, pull everybody. And they turned the ball over. We got it real quick, and uh, we got a two quick scores within four minutes, and then uh, all the starters were out, and so. We got out of it healthy and played very well, and uh, so we're just excited. Couldn't have asked for more then, huh? No, really, really couldn't. We we uh, we felt like, you know, take nothing away from Palestine, but we felt like it, that we didn't play great. We thought we were rusty uh, coming off the uh, bye week, not making any excuses at all, but we just, you know, we, we didn't have the same rhythm we had, uh, you know, the last six or seven games in the regular season, and um, I think we got to it pretty, pretty good the other night. How about your quarterback, Blake Bogan, shoots 15 of 30 for 204 yards, three touchdowns, the one pick. What did you think about the way he played? You know, I thought he played very well. We, the the uh, the pick was uh, really not his fault. The guy jumped the route. He didn't see it. But, um, you know, we, we got the same guy. If he's going to jump it, we, we felt like we'd get some touchdowns later, and, then, uh, and we got three on him. And um, so – um, anytime we have somebody that's going to jump a curl like that, we, if he'll continue to do it, then uh, we think we we can make him pay. And Blake did. And you know, the, his percentage wasn't great, but just because it was just fifty percent, because we kept throwing it deep and kept throwing it deep, because they kept challenging us, and uh, we hit a, we hit uh, I know uh, three touchdowns to deep balls, and uh, so I thought he played well. The percentage is not what we want, but. Um, you know, we'll take it. Hey, absolutely. Uh, and also, T. Gorey uh, caught his 16th touchdown uh, of the season. That ties him with Edward Pope for second on the single-season TD reception list. What kind of years he had? He's uh, he's had a phenomenal year. He's the fastest wideout we've ever had. And, um, you know, last year we tried to play him in there as a sophomore. We knew he was so talented. He just didn't have the confidence to do it last year. And uh, his confidence is a at all-time high right now, obviously, and uh, he's playing very well for us, and um, he's got to continue to make plays for us. And Tevin Pipkin had 123 yards and two touchdowns on the ground. The balance just got to make you feel great. It does. You know, you know the great thing about those guys, they're all juniors, and um, <laughs> and we get to coach them again. And O'Kearian Rutherford's having a big year. He's a junior out at uh, wide out also. Mm-hmm. So. And they're all our offensive linemen are juniors. And um, so – we're looking for big things. Hopefully, we can finish this thing up, and then also next year. It's ridiculous, Coach, when you got that many young kids. And I realize they've all had big game experience now, but when you think about the fact that the majority of this team, all your skill people, all of them are going to be back next year, and you could go to the state championship game this year. Well, I hope so. I mean, I hope that we can, uh, you know, play well this week and 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 see what what happens after that, but. You know, our thing is, and our theme is, is you know, just just get better, just get better today, and 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 see what happens, you know, tomorrow, and um, that's that's the key thing. And but you know, I think we got a chance, and and we are we are playing well. We wasn't very happy in the way we played the first round, and that's what we told you. You know, these are really these guys' first playoff game. You know, ninety percent of these guys' first playoff game, and you, you could see it. We were we played nervous. Uh, I think we were a little, but now since we got our our feet wet i don't think we'll play nervous anymore well and, and then you got a sophomore playing at safety bolton uh who had a great night i mean 
do these kids show any signs of, uh, I mean, I, I guess let me back up and say it just the, the level of maturity to be playing on this pressure level of football at this point and to be this young, it, it's pretty phenomenal when you talk about this many young kids. Well, it is, you know, and you can talk about Bolton, the sophomore, and he has made his mistakes, uh, the sophomore mistakes, but he has uh, really came on, and he's, um, yeah, I think he's got seven or eight interceptions, but better than that, he's a good tackler, and he's done a great job. And we, we do have a, we knew we had to have some young kids to come through, and they have come through for us. We wasn't great early. We knew we wasn't going to be great early. We wasn't ready for a White House game at that point when we played them and um, you know and but that was good experience for all of us and you know and then we had a two-point conversion at the end to tie it but uh, i think we're ready for those those kind of type of teams and games right now and um, we'll see what happens well if anybody knows about winning state championships you do do you have a feeling for just uh, what the potential is for this football team this year well, we, we do talk about, you know, our goals is to win a state championship, obviously, when we won it before, but we, we don't talk about any team but the one that's coming up. Uh, but uh, I would like to be at Cowboy Stadium, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> and not be holding a ticket, right? <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right, because I'm going to be holding one the next week when all the state championship games are going on. Oh, you know? good stuff. <laughs> yes, good sir. All right, so tell me what you know about Silsby. Uh, they're very talented. Their quarterback is their guy. He's their leading rusher, and you know, and he throws the ball well. And they've got about two or three really good receivers. Um, we think we have some advantages, and they might have some advantages of us. I'm sure they think they have some advantages against us. But you know, it's a game. I think if we play well, um, I think we'll be okay. If we don't play well, then we're going to be in trouble. How do they compare to somebody that you might have seen already this year? They they compare. They're not as fast overall probably is palestine but they do have their top three athletes are that kind of speed but palestine you had 10 guys you know you look at that could mm-hmm. really really run and uh these guys you know you got to stop about three guys offensively and, and then defensively they're they're a scrappy bunch i got a nose guard it's right 260 he's their best player and we've got to get him controlled well, Coach, uh, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on uh, getting it into the uh, third round, and uh, we're looking forward to hearing from big things from you next week, okay? All right, Brian. Hey, I appreciate you calling.